Welcome back to the show. You know, we know many of you are back to work in real life, but we also know many of you are in limbo, partially working from home, partially in the office. So this hybrid work style could actually become permanent for many. Curious to know how this is impacting workers. We caught up with Microsoft researcher Jamie Teven, who's been studying this issue for months. It's so good to see you. How have you personally been handling the remote work situation? Oh, it's uh, been hard lately, right? Yeah. Um, you know, we think of the big change that happened a year and a half ago when we all moved to remote work. But in many ways, this sort of uncertain period right now where things are starting to open up and, you know, are we going back into the office? Are we going to keep working from home? What are kids going to do at school? Like all of that is um, pretty hard to figure out. I think we're all in that frustrated spot of like, what is happening next? And many of us are in the dark, but you actually have conducted research over the past year and a half. What is the data showing? Probably the biggest thing that comes out of the data is just how different the experience has been for each person. You know, every individual has their own experience with this past year and a half. Um, and the things that we're looking at both to keep from remote work and to sort of bring back as we move to some in office work actually vary a lot as well. You look at the people who are really excited about remote work, we see that 58% of those people really value remote work because it allows them to focus. And when you look at the people who are really excited about going back into the office, we see that same number, 58%, who are really excited about going back into the office because it allows them to focus. Yeah. So there's just yeah. very different experiences that we're having. I actually thought a lot about you and our last conversation when we at New Day started going back into the office because I thought, I'm not going to be more productive in the office versus home. I was so wrong. I was so <laughs> much more productive once I was back in that office environment, it's actually reminded me that when I do work from home, how to stay focused. But then there's this whole thing of sustainable productivity. Let's talk about the significance of sustainable productivity. Yeah. So we're seeing that people while working remote are able to be very productive, like we're getting a lot of stuff done, mm -hmm. uh, but not necessarily in a way that's sustainable. Um, and a lot of the things that help sustain us are the ability to take breaks mm -hmm. and, you know, take care of ourselves, the ability to connect with people and mm -hmm. build relationships and even like the ability to brainstorm and innovate and think about new things. Like those are all part of like, not just producing a lot of stuff in the short term, but doing good work in the long term. And we find that all of those things, well-being, collaboration, innovation, all of those are a little bit harder when remote. And so as we move back into the office, there's an opportunity to be really intentional about how we use our in-person time mm -hmm. to support those sort of things that are valuable for uh, sustainable productivity and use our remote time for the kinds of things that we're good at doing at home. Like, getting work done, checking things off our to-do list, that sort of thing. That's a really good point. Are you concerned at all about fully remote workers falling behind or being excluded as some start to go back to the office? What are you doing to promote that kind of inclusivity in that hybrid work environment? Yeah, we have developed a ton of empathy this past year for what it means to be remote. And I actually think as we start thinking about in-person meetings more, we're going to do a much better job bringing remote people in. Um, and part of that is actually by continuing to some of the practices that worked well when we were all remote, when we're in person. In-meeting chat is something that people use a lot now while we're remote yeah. to sort of have sidebar conversations. It's a great way actually for people to be included women are more likely to be using in meeting chat. People who are less likely to sort of take the floor in a meeting will use the side chat. And uh, we're seeing as we move to in-person meetings, people are opening up their computers and starting to also engage in that in that in meeting chat as a way to both bring remote participants in, but also allow people to have the floor who wouldn't normally. That is such a good point. I never thought about it before. And I always feel kind of a little naughty sometimes doing that chat, <laughs> like I'm passing notes within the meeting. But you're right, it is a great opportunity for those who may not feel comfortable speaking up to speak out. 
Just love that, Jamie. Now, later in the show, she's going to be back with some more food for thought on how sustainable and effective working from home really is. We're going to check back in um, now with our friend Jamie Teven. She is from Microsoft. She was giving us her thoughts on the future of the productivity and sustainability of working from home. People are also kind of getting sick and tired of the video meetings, being on video all the time. Is that sustainable? Is that something we're going to be able to just finally just turn all our cameras off at one point? You know, with the kids back at school, I went into the office the other day for the first time in forever and was in an in-person meeting. And when I came home, I was so exhausted. It's kind of funny because we talk about like the remote meeting fatigue. But I was like, I've got in-person meeting fatigue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, you know, it's really is that we get good at different ways of interaction. And I'm now in the habit of remote meetings, and it was hard for me to go engage in in in-person meetings. So I think one of the tricks that we have and the really cool opportunity that we have right now is actually to start being like, ooh, what's good about remote meetings? What's good about in-person meetings? And <laughs> capture the best of both of those. I think that's a great idea. What is your advice to managers and employees for achieving a certain level of sustainable productivity? Do you have any tips? I think the first thing that we need to do just is to look at ourselves individually as individuals and think about what works for us. What works for me when I'm at home? What do I like? Oh, I like, I'm an early person. I love waking up early in the morning and getting a lot of stuff done. I like the opportunity to take my dog for a walk and taking that break in the middle of the day. I like going into the office uh, for chatting with folks and actually like to not have any scheduled meetings while I'm in the office so that I can chit chat with folks. And that's me and somebody else might want something different. Actually, um, one of my colleagues, he has a new baby. He likes going into the office. He doesn't want people coming in and chit chatting. He's like, I want to work. <laughs> yeah. And like, we all have our things. And so, it, uh, so it's, the first thing to do is to really figure out what works for you. But then yeah. the challenge is you can't make decisions by yourself because it, you know, a lot of the value of in-person time is that you're with other people. Like that's why you're doing it, except for a friend who is also taking a break from his baby. But, um, you know, how, how, how do we work together? How do we work at those boundaries? And so it's really important for teams to actually talk to each other and try and establish um, guidelines that work for them. So for example, on my team, uh, we use Wednesday as an in, in office day. And that's when we all try to get in. We use Monday as a remote day. And that's when we schedule our remote meetings. Such great advice, Jamie. I really, I, I really thankful to you for, for sharing these tips and for helping us. I mean, you've been guiding us <laughs> through this and the behind the scenes since I think it was earlier this year. So I really can't wait to check in with you again. And hopefully we'll be even better at this by then. Uh, hopefully we're learning every day, right? Yeah. <laughs>